realizing that the destination that you're on is one to your own death. And he ends this, he has fear and hope and trust in God, and he puts trust and tawheed in the same chapter, which is very interesting. Because to him, tawheed is not a theoretical construct, which it is to most Muslims, this idea God is one. No, to him, God is doing everything at every instant. That is tawheed. And Ghazali is arguing that if you really understand this, you will have utter trust in God. You will put all your trust in God because it's all God. God is doing everything in every instant. And this is why if you're not content with your circumstances, he argues you're not content with God. Because it's God that put you into those circumstances, but what God is asking you to do is respond to them appropriately. That's the challenge. It's not the circumstances. The challenge is the power that God has given you in your will, your irada, to actually take your circumstances and respond appropriately. And there are only four circumstances and four requisite responses. You're in tribulation, and he says the response to that is patience. You're in a, a situation of blessing, and you have to respond to that with gratitude. And that will increase you. And if you don't do those things, what he says, if you're in a state of gratitude and you respond by heedlessness, the blessings will be taken away from you, not as a punishment, but as a reminder to pull you back. One of the things he says, if God, he said there's only two types of people from a hadith. People in tribulation and people in good situations. He said, if you're in a good situation, God will send the people of tribulation to you. And if you reject them and close the door on them, He will make you the people of tribulation. He'll take away your blessing. Because your blessings are to serve the people in tribulation. These are the awakenings that He's trying to instill and inculcate 